Good morning. It's a little tiny bit tad chilly out this morning. I don't think my garden is drinking as much as it normally does, so maybe I won't water as much today. Maybe like half of what I normally do. Did that deer get this? I don't think so. He did get those ones in front though. Came up with this little contraption. I don't know if that's going to barely work. I'm going to have to put the drawers back in that before um, when fall comes and take that back into the garage. And then this was my semi idea for that until I can think of something better. I need to just think of something better right here all the way. I had this weird rope idea, but I need to come up with something way more. I have to envision something and I just hasn't been on my list of things to do but now it is I have to do something before next year I found these old pieces of wood and did that so I'm definitely gonna have to think of something maybe if I would like to take a trip to the coast where I'm not tied up where I can, you know, have more freedom. Not an emergency visit is what I would like. Is not an emergency visit. And then if I got more um, driftwood, maybe I could build that really cool crooked fence like thing that I saw on this golf course which is funny because my aunt and I took the I wasn't really paying attention I told her to turn we were heading to Bullard's and we ended up turning down the band in Dunes golf course and that's how I ended up all the way out there look at these guys they love these big poppies those are cool so how's my pumpkin looking pretty good I trimmed up um, the leaves around the edge so because I really enjoy doing my sweep that is the one thing that I can that I really 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 enjoy oh wait I moved this pot I didn't move it my son moved this pot over here too and this right here is cilantro and more cilantro will grow dill and parsley is what's left in here I already harvested the dill and the cilantro and that's all baby stuff down there and it's probably baby cilantro because cilantro can get really out of control so if you grow cilantro make sure you grow it in a very very it's way 10 million times worse than mint like mint can't, can't even hold um, a candle to it. It's crazy. Cilantro is beautiful. I love it when it flowers. It's beautiful little yellow flowers. But it is very out of control. Look how tall. These are marigolds. And look how tall they are. The one over here, I had to take that old wheel, which I really like that wheel. I don't know what it goes to, but I want to do something cool with it. Again, something that hasn't been on my priority list that I haven't thought of a super cool creation for, which I do. And I want to do something cool with this walkway. My broom barely fits through it I mean it fits through it I don't have to slow down or anything and I can take a wheelchair through it because my 
uh, garden is handicap accessible. But I want to do something more where it's, you know, and next year I'm going to work in this path and that back row and that flower bed and that flower bed. I need to finish create this one. I'm almost done with though. Cause see, look what I came up with. I found these two, uh, concrete block thingies. And then I just two separate kinds of different kinds of wood that I found in the garage and I made that and that looks pretty good. And I can uh, see better. I'm obviously going to have to rearrange the rocks a little bit better. When all this stuff dies down, I can, we'll be able to see a little bit better. And then on this side, the reason why I haven't built anything is because my par four goes right here. And I need to create something that you'll still be able to see the hole, the flag, and it won't get overgrown. Cause see, you shoot from back here and you go down this little line. But because I put pumpkins and stuff in this flower bed, and I like to move things around. Like I wanted the pumpkins up front here this year. Next year, when this is more prepared, the pumpkins, the watermelon, the zucchini, the squash, cucumbers, and maybe tomatoes, depending on how much room I have, will go more in this part, but not next year. It'll, I think it'll be the year after, because next year I'll plant sunflowers down this whole line, because that way when... The sunflowers go through their full harvest year. And then I just we cut the heads off. And then we leave the stalks for a little bit. And then we pull the stalks up. And it tills the ground so that you don't have to use a tiller. So that it's not hard work. It pulls up all the weeds. I'm going to cover it. That way there won't be any weeds when I plant the sunflowers next year. And then... Um, after all of that, then it, I'll fence down the line to prevent the uh, giant purple irises from encroaching in on what is going to eventually be watermelon, pumpkin, and stuff like that all the way down the line. And then this, I want to do carnations mixed with lap not mix lavender will be in the back and maybe some chamomile like lavender chamomile and then the carnations and i'm very curious to see what that whole combination is gonna smell like that's a cosmo right there that big fluffy flower cosmos are all right that was one of the first flowers i that I experimented with. And then I'm probably, I don't know, I keep thinking about moving that succulent, but then I really like it there. I just need to adjust the look of the flower bed better. Like the rocks that are there just aren't doing it for me. Like maybe those rocks that are in that bed need to be on the back end of this one and on the back end of this one th those need to be there i don't know yet won't know until everything dies off and i'll be out here just gazing at my um yard and then same thing with this one this one every year i say i'm going to do something with but the vision hasn't come so until that vision comes nothing i can do these ones I try not to do too much in. I still have a little corner on this one that I've been saving. Because this is my favorite row. And you can tell it's my favorite row because it has all the good stuff. <laughs> like, and see, look. See how I arranged the words? It says my. 
Well, now I, I want to get a tiny, tiny little plaque. Like, like, tiny. And put it right on the bottom or do something with this piece of wood that says garden. So then it'll say my garden. <laughs> okay, I'm ending that because I don't know how long this is and I forgot my timer. Bye.